hello community this is the first episode of deposit management system and i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see overview of the deposit management system how we can create a custom module in odoo version 14 and we will add some extra features here so if you are a beginner or a student and you are like a junior developer and you want to learn how to create a custom module crude operations how to generate pdf file how to send auto email how to configure outgoing email server then after how to override existing methods how to implement auto sequence one view to another view how to jump then after like how to override existing model plus new model how to also extend existing view like all the topics is covered here with different episodes so total five episodes here maximum like three hours three to four hour session here like after like all the episodes you will be able to create your own features using this module and yes like all the technical part is covered here and if you want to learn more about different episodes or like Odoo development you can go to here the weblands channel here you can see different playlists also available here also like deposit management system playlist also available for more information you can go to here in the playlist and let's say if you need any support or help you can go to about page and you can send your query to this email address plus also you can support using this join button all right and one more good thing is like our all modules also available in odoo app store so you have to search here weblands and here you will get all these modules so here we will see deposit management system so this last one and the version is right now 14 and soon we will also cover version 15 also so you can see here like all the features is also available like this way like all the episodes you can click here it will redirect to the specific episode and like all the key features also available here so this is the module overview like the name is wb deposit underscore management all right and like let's say i already added here in the app store you can see this one right now you can see this the same description also available here so here yeah like you need to just install so you can see here it's successfully installed and here the good thing is you can see here the deposit management menu is available so first thing is like we have to configure the bank like let's say here i'm just trying to configure bank name state bank of india and let's say i will add state bank of india as an address the full address here and the good thing is you can see here like if once i will click to the save button you can see the automatic bank code also generate right now you can see the balance is zero at this moment why because just created this bank plus there is no any transaction available for this bank right so here you can see this transaction list also available so here like we have a customer bank then after remarks the balance i mean the amount here and you can see the transaction status status means this one like the deposit or withdrawal process all right and one more thing is you can see in this header part of this form view you can see the status bar draft and done you can see here done done means the transaction already done draft means it's in progress state plus you can see here one more button is available so once you click to this transaction button it will change draft to the done state plus you can see the specific balance automatically showing the balance in the customer profile and the total balance the available balance also available in the bank profile plus one more thing is like once the transaction done like uh, withdrawal or the deposit like respective email automatically sent to the customer and let's say so we also added some validations here let's say the customer first time withdraw instead of the deposit 
or let's say they don't have any enough amount and they are trying to withdraw from this bank uh, from this form would automatically rise pop up message like you like for example the, this and that customer don't have enough fund to withdraw all this process all right and let's say i'm just trying to i'm first i'm going to here in contacts in the web lens now you can see we also extend this form view this one you can see here the bank here in the bank we have to add here the specific banks the list of banks here like let's say the state bank of india i configured for this contact and let's say i'm going to here in the deposit management and i'm also trying to create a new bank like let's icici bank and here like i will add icici bank and i will trying to create a this bank you can see the code also generated this is a unique code plus we also configured here one validation let's say i'm just trying to create the same bank name like this and i'm trying to save you can see this pop up message also display plus you can see here we right now we have a two banks right now you can see here uh not here but let's say in contacts let me showing you one more thing is like let's say this one like this person i configured as a icic bank let's say i'm going to in deposit management system like like let's say the web lens bank is right now you can see here right now we have to always select a specific bank right but if you see here like we also created a new thing we also configured the bank user level bank access rights so let's say this sbi manager and staff is available all right so you can see here we have to add here the state bank of india for this one and for the staff member also i'm just trying to configure like state bank of india and let's say here i'm going to log in as a manager so you can see sbi manager here but here we don't need to do anything uh, you can see here still like if i'm going to here in the deposit management you can see two banks display for this user right which is incorrect so we also define uh, some rules and the group you can see here the deposit management system so at least we have to provide for the specific user let's say this is a staff so we have to select as a staff for this banking system let's say i'm going to for the manager and i'm i will add as a manager and once i will go to here and i'm trying to refresh the page you can see only one bank always display for this user why because we configured this bank state bank of india if you choose another bank so it's showing all the records related to that specific bank so here in this case we can like this user can see this bank only plus here all the transaction they can see only the bank state bank of india not any other banks which is not configured in the user profile so let's say i am just trying to create a new transaction so if you see here once i click here you can see by default the bank is not display here but in this profile you can see once i will click here you can see the bank automatically appear this state bank of india and if you click here you can't see any other banks why because we configured this one like let's say i'm just trying to uh, use like web lens like first deposit like let's say 10000 
once I will click here so you can see it goes to the done stat now one more thing is let's say once the transaction done the whole form is read only you can see here they can't edit anything here plus like let's say if I'm going to in this bank profile you can see available balance is 10,000 for this bank let's say I'm going to in this customer profile you can see here 10,000 is also available and let's say if you want to see all the history for this customer only they can click here and they will redirect to transaction view here and you can see here like total available transaction display and this is the final balance might be you will confuse here let me create one more transaction for this customer like withdraw by self like let's say 5000 save and transaction done so what is the available balance here for this customer is like 5000 right why 5000 because first time they deposited 10,000 and now they withdraw 5,000 so remaining balance is 5,000 right uh, let me show like transaction history for this customer you can see here two transaction display like one is the 10,000 and another is a 5,000 he here you can see both are in down state plus you can see the final balance is this one 5,000 why because first one is deposit so it's showing as a positive value and another is a negative amount is showing it means it's a withdrawal amount so then after you can see the final amount is display all right for this customer let's say i'm trying to create here another profile and which is configured under the ICIC bank right like first deposit like let's say seven thousand let's say the same customer like salary deposit like let's say withdraw by self self withdraw like let's say 4000 all right so all three transactions is here like total you can see five transaction display for this admin user like let's say if i will check here as a manager for this sba bank you can see only two transaction display let's say i'm going to here in the bank you can see still one bank is display for the transaction they can see only two transactions display here let me create one more transaction uh, like let's say let's say odoo and uh, like i will first configure the bank as a state bank of india let me save uh, like let's say state bank of india right now you can see i am doing some transaction in the admin side all right like first deposit 2000 like transaction is done now i'm going to in manager profile once i will refresh here you can see another customer transaction is display you can see 2000 the total balance is 7000 for this bank so for more detail you can go to here in the bank profile you can see here the total available balance for this bank is 7000 all right but let's say if you want to check the specific customer balance they have to go to in customer profile in the bank detail page here you can see the total available balance is 2000 and let's say if you want to see the transaction related this customer they can go they, they have to click to this button so they will redirect to this page 
and you can see here available balance is display so like this way we created this deposit management system all right and for the technical part let me show you here like in odoo training custom add-ons wp deposit management and here you can see like we created this is not needed like you can see we created bank profile we override create over a method then after we implemented one compute field then after we also implemented sql constraint here then after in the customer profile we inherited res partner and res users module then after we define the default bank then after created compute field for the specific customer balance then after you can see this is a transaction model here you can see like how to send automatic email to the specific transaction how to rise pop-up message like everything is here then after you can see how to create a new sequence number using IR sequence then after you can see this is email template how to create also email template you can see here then after like a small PDF receipt generated by Odoo itself like once the transaction is done you can see this one so it will display like this the bank name the bank code then after the customer name this is the customer then after the transaction details here you can see like this we created this pdf file using this qweb template then after you can see we created staff and manager groups here you can see plus you can see like uh, they can see only the configured bank record set so we implemented here record rules for both groups here plus you can see we can we also created access rights csv file to define a rules here like who can read write delete or create then after you can see here we created a tree view form view then after menus windows actions for the bank transaction same like for the bank like we created parent child menus record uh, windows action tree view form view and here you can see like how to extend existing models for the res partner and the res user so you can see here so like all the details covered in next four episodes so this first episode is only for the overview of this module and now next session is how to create this module from scratch you will see detailed sessions in next episodes I hope you clear about this deposit management system how it is working so this is a technical and functional part another next four episodes all are the technical parts like how you can create from scratch any applications how you can also install from this Odoo app store here so everything you will get you can see in detail and yes like if you know the basic odoo then it would be very good to understand this workflow and yes the last thing is don't forget to download from here also the link is given in the description box all right in case you have any doubt related to this session please comment below and see you in episode 2